I gave Shaq Steph Curry's shooting ability. Now we all know that Shaq is a really poor shooter, even worse of a free throw shooter, but what if he had the shooting ability of the greatest shooter of all time in Steph Curry? How good would he be? Would he be the greatest of all time? Maybe have 10 rings, 10 MVPs? Would he go down as the unanimous GOAT if he could shoot like Steph Curry, but still be as dominant as he was in real life in the paint? I don't have those answers, but the good news is we are going to be finding that out here in today's video as I'm going to be giving him Steph Curry shooting ability in NBA 2K24 and we are going to re-simulate his entire career and see how good he does so let's go ahead and take a look at the new and improved Shaquille O'Neal. Alright so here we are in the 1992 NBA season. A rookie Shaq has just joined the Orlando Magic he's up to an 88 overall now that it upped his 3 pointer as well as his mid range. He's got a 95 3 pointer and 80 mid range and I didn't increase his free throw too much but I mean I am giving him the shooting ability of Steph Curry so it's got to be high it's up to an 87 so there's literally not going to be any more hack a shack going on for him he's definitely not going to have to worry about that for his badges his outside shooting or outside scoring he got a lot of hall of fame or gold badges which I believe he had zero of before I adjusted it and we are basically going to see if he can go down as the greatest NBA player of all time if he had the shooting ability of Steph Curry now on the magic we do have Michael Adams who's an 86 and Nick Anderson who's an 83 but outside of that this team's not that great we are definitely going to get carried by a rookie Shaq who's an 88 overall and 20 years of age so let's see how dominant Shaq can be if he could actually shoot the ball and didn't get hacked every play so MJ is going to go ahead and take home the MVP the rookie of the year will go to Shaq averaging 20 10 and 1 he did shoot only 25% from three maybe he's not taking that many a game I'm kind of shocked by that honestly but his free throws is way up at 86% Hakeem is going to take home the DPOI Shaq is not going to make the first team or the second team or even the third team as the Orlando Magic are going to grab the five seed going 47 and 35. Charlotte won 64 games in the West. Utah is very good with 62 wins themselves. And the Magic are going to end up losing in the second round to the one seed Charlotte Hornets. As they would go on and win the NBA title, Larry Johnson is your finals MVP, averaging 22 and 11. Chris Webber is going to go first overall to the Washington Bullets. Vin Baker has gone to the Pacers. Jamal Marsburn has gone to the Bucks. Penny Hardaway has gone to the Timberwolves, so he will not be in Orlando. Shaq now is all the way up at a 93 overall. Still very young, 21 years old. His tendencies for three, and basically all of them are up now, so he should take a lot more threes than he did last season. I, I don't even know how many he took. We go and take a look here. Three pointers. He literally took four and only made one of them. Again, Jordan is going to win the MVP, the rookie of the year is going to go to Chris Webber, the sixth man to this guy, and the DPOY will go to David Robinson. Shaq is going to end up making the first team as he averages 31 and 11. Also shot 50% from three as the Orlando Magic are going to grab the two seed. They damn near won 60 games, only behind the Bulls in the East. Now in the West, obviously Utah is very good. They won 61 games. Golden State won 51. And just like that, in only Shaq's second season in the NBA, he's in the finals up against the Utah Jazz, who obviously have John Stockton, Carl 13, Malone is there. Reggie Williams, Jeff Malone. So they do have a very good team. Let's see if Shaq can go on and win his very first title in only his second season in the league. And it's only going to take Shaq two years in the NBA to take home his very first NBA title for the Orlando Magic, which of course he never did in real life. He left to LA. He beat Jordan in the conference finals and he'll beat the Jazz in six games, I believe, in the finals. They were up 3-2, but Utah won the last two games. I was getting a little worried as the Magic are going to win the Larry O'Brien trophy for, I believe, leave the first time in the franchise's history I could be wrong on that and of course Shaquille O'Neal will win the finals MVP Shaq was as dominant as ever in the closeout game dropping 40 11 and 3 shot 18 to 24 as in the finals he's going to average 32 10 and 1 Glenn Robinson is going to go first overall to the Mavs Grant Hill has gone to the Heat Jason Kidd is going to the Sixers Shaq now basically is in his prime as he's 95 overall still super young only 22 years old he's got one year left on his deal but he should resign. MJ again is going to take home another MVP. The rookie of the year will go to Glenn Robinson, averaging 23 a game, and the DPOY again to David Robinson, as Shaq again is going to make the first team, averaging 29 and 11. Also shot 43 from three, as the Magic are going to be the two seed again, this time going 54 and 28. The Bulls were the only team better in the East and in the West. The Supersonics were the one seed, winning 55 games. Utah is going to be tough again, but of course, we have to watch out for MJ and the Bulls. We did beat them in the conference finals last year, so 
I'm a little bit more confident that we can beat them. And yet again, we dominated the Bulls in the conference finals and up against the Utah Jazz. They pretty much have the same exact team. Ockton's there, Malone's there, Mark Eaton is there, even though he's only 74 overall. And just like that, Shaq and the Orlando Magic are gonna go back to back yet again, winning the NBA title. As I don't know why John Stockton is celebrating with the Magic. He lost two years in a row, buddy. But the domination of Shaq continues as he already has two rings and he only is three years into his career. This time, the Magic would end up sweeping the Jazz in the finals to win the Larry O'Brien Trophy. And obviously, Shaquille O'Neal is going to win the finals MVP for the second year in a row. In the final, Shaq is going to average 32 and 12. Kevin Garnett is going to go first overall to the Mavs. Jerry Stackhouse has gone to the Raptors. Shaq now honestly might be the best player in the entire league as he is a 97 overall. Fresh off back-to-back -back NBA titles, Jordan is a 97 as well, so that's pretty much his only competition. Now it's between Shaq and Jordan who owns the NBA. Jordan, of course, is winning the MVPs, but Shaq is taking home the titles. Finally, Shaq is going to win his very first MVP as he averages 34 and 14 a game on 50, 40, 90. Damn near 60, 40, 90. The rookie of the year will go to KG, the DPOY also to Shaq, so he done both of them. As the Magic have an absolutely historic season going 71 and 11. Obviously the best team in the entire league. We might actually go on in three-peat. And somehow Jordan and the Bulls are going to be us in six games in the conference finals. Of course, MJ and the Bulls would go on and win the NBA title. Jordan, finals MVP, only averaging 21, 5, and 6 a game, though. Kobe Bryant is going to go first overall to the Toronto Raptors. Stefan Marbury has gone to the Kings. AI has gone to the Grizzlies. Ray Allen to the Cavs. Steve Nash has gone to the Trailblazers. Shaq now is up to a 98 overall. I believe he's in year number 5. Shaq is going to win another MVP, this time averaging 36, 14, and three a monster season for him the rookie of the year is going to go to ai averaging 27 a game god damn the six man to steve nash and the dpoy yet again to Shaq. as the magic are going to be the one c going 66 and 16 in the west the denver nuggets won 58 games and yet again we are back in the nba finals this time up against the seattle supersonics who do have gary payton Sean Kemp is good as well. And somehow the Seattle Supersonics are going to make the comeback down 3-1. And they are going to beat the Magic in the final. Sean Kemp is your finals MVP averaging 24 and 12. As a very disappointing playoff series. I mean, Shaq still balled out. Averaged 35 pretty much for the entire playoff run. Tim Duncan is going to be selected first overall by the Raptors. So him and Kobe are now going to be a duo. God damn, that's going to be very scary. T-Mac has gone to the Warriors. Shaq now is a 98 overall. 25 years old, so pretty much in the prime of his career and already is easily a hall of famer he's just gonna need that longevity to become the greatest nba player of all time Shaq is gonna take home another mvp this time averaging 32 and 13 the rookie of the year will go to timmy d the six man to this guy the simmons Lionel simmons and the DPOY is going to go to Alonzo Mourning. As the Magic again are the 1C going 64 and 18 in the East. Denver was very good. And it looks like Shaq is actually injured for the rest of the playoff run. So I don't expect to go too far. He's got a ruptured left Achilles. That is pretty much wraps on Orlando's championship hopes. As the Raptors in year number two, actually year number one of Kobe and Tim Duncan are going to go on and win the NBA title. Timmy D is your finals MVP, only averaging 16 and 10. Magic Johnson and Larry Bird have both decided to retire after 19 and 18 seasons in the NBA. Right now, Shaq is still recovering from his ruptured left Achilles. He still has four to six months before he returns, so Orlando's got to be without him for most of the season. He's a 91 overall, but that's because he's injured. So Chris Webber is going to win the MVP. The rookie of the year is going to go to Dirk, the six man to this guy and the DPOY again to Alonzo Mourning. Shaq, I don't believe is going to make any of the all NBA teams. I don't think he played enough. Honestly, the magic would end up sneaking into the playoffs though, as a seven C going 40 and 42. So luckily for Shaq, He's going to get some playoff action here. As in the regular season, he would average 26, 12, and 3. How many games did he play? He only played 37 for the entire season. But I mean, take a look at his free throw percentage. 96 this season, his career high. And we got swept by Washington in the very first round. As the Wizards would go on and win the NBA title, Chris Webber is your finals MVP, averaging 32 and 14. Richard Hamilton is going to go first overall to the Suns. Baron Davis has gone to the Kings. Steve 
Francis to the Jazz. Shaq now is the highest overall you can get in a 2K game, which is a 99. 27 years old, still in the prime of his career. Basically missed most of last season. KG is actually going to go on and win the MVP. The rookie of the year is going to go to Steve Francis. And the DPOY will go to Shaq. He also averaged 31 and 13 for the season. As the Magic are going to be the 5C going 50 and 32. And we are going to lose to MJ and the Bulls in the very first round. A very disappointing playoff run. I mean, it wasn't even a playoff run. As the Wizards yet again are going to go on and win the NBA title. Chris Webber again is your finals MVP. This time averaging 24 and 14. John Stockton has decided to retire only after 16 years in the NBA. Only 38 years old. He is pretty washed at this point. Barely averaging 10 points a game for the last three seasons. Kenyon Martin is going to go first overall to the Miami Heat. Jamal Crawford's gone to the Clippers. Shaq is still a 99 overall. Shaq is going to go on and win another MVP this time. Maybe his best season ever averaging 38 and 14 a game. The rookie of the year is going to go to Spencer Willis and the DPOI also will go to Shaq as the Magic are going to be the one seed going 62 and 20. And we are back in the NBA Finals this time up against the Houston Rockets who do have Chauncey Billups and Dirk Nowitzki 87 and 90 overall so it should be a tough challenge. They also have Manu there and Shaq is going to lead the Magic yet again to another NBA title. I believe the third of his career as we would beat the Houston Rockets in five games in the NBA Finals. It was really not that close. Shaq pretty much dominated as per usual and the Larry O'Brien Trophy is coming back to Orlando, baby. And Shaq is going to win his third Finals MVP of his illustrious career going down maybe as the greatest player ever. Of course, he had a monster closeout game. 44 points, 13 rebounds, and four assists. As in the finals, he's going to average 39 and 15 a game. Gilbert Arenas is going to go first overall to the Clippers. Paul Gasol has gone to the Jazz. Richard Jefferson to the Suns. So Shaq is still a 99 overall, 29 years of age, and he only has one year left on his deal, so he could technically leave Orlando. I don't know why he would, considering the amount of success we've had here in the nine years so far. Shaq is going to take home another MVP, this time averaging 28, 11, and 3. The rookie of the year is going to go to Gilbert Arenas and the DPOI again will go to Shaq as the Magic are going to be the two seed going 52 and 30. Toronto was actually better and in the West Houston is very good damn near winning 60 games and somehow we lost in the very first round to the Miami Heat as the Rockets are going to go on and win the NBA title. Dirk is your finals MVP averaging 28 a game. Amari Stoudemire is going to go first overall to the Suns. Yao Ming has gone to the Supersonics. Again Shaq is going to take home another MVP this time averaging 35 and 13. Rookie of the year is going to go to Yao Ming and the DPOI will also go to Shaq as the Magic are going to be the four seed going 50 and 32. And we would end up getting swept in the conference finals by the Pistons as the Rockets are going to go on and win another NBA title. Manu Ginobili is your finals MVP. Patrick Ewing has retired after 18 years, played his final season on the Pacers, only averaging four points per game. LeBron is going to go to the New Orleans Hornets. Melo has gone to the Jazz. D-Way to the Suns. Chris Bosh has gone to the Bulls. Dirk is going to go ahead and win the MVP. The rookie of the year will go to LeBron averaging 25 a game and the DPOY will go to KG. Shaq is going to make the first team averaging 29 and 11 per game. As the Magic are not even going to end up making the playoffs. They were literally the 15 seed going 27 and 55. Yeah Shaq it might be time to get out of here brother. Head to a new team, make some new friends, some new teammates. And the Wizards are going to go on and win another NBA title. Chris Webber dominating as usual, 24 a game in the finals. MJ has retired after 19 years in the NBA, all on Chicago, only averaging 13 a game in his final season. He is 41 years old. He's probably the all-time leading scorer, and he would end up finishing with 39,000 points, passing Kareem for the most in NBA history. Andre Iguodala is going to go first overall to the Magic. Dwight Howard, wow, we literally could have had Dwight. Dwight Howard. I mean, we do already have a center, but still, we're going to pick Iggy over Dwight Howard. The, I mean, he's gone to the Trailblazers. Luol Deng's gone to the Knicks. Shaq now has slightly dropped down to a 98 overall. 32 years old, one year left on his deal. He is getting up there in age. Emac is going to go ahead and win the MVP. The rookie of the year is going to go to Ian Bridges, the six man, to this guy, and the DPOI will go to Tim Duncan. Shaq is going to make the first team, averaging 28 and 11 per game. And again, the Magic are going to miss the playoffs, this time being the 11th seed, going 34 and 40. 
48, so I think it's time that Shaq moves on to a new team. The Pacers are going to go on and win the NBA title. Vin Baker is your finals MVP. CP3 is going to go first overall to the Charlotte Bobcats. And unfortunately, Shaq re-signed for three more years at $44 million. He's a 96 now, 33 years old. Eric is going to go ahead and win the MVP again. The Rookie of the Year will go to CP3 and the DPOI to Tim Duncan. Shaq is still going to make the first team this time averaging 26 and 10. And the Magic are actually going to have a very good season being the four seed going 55 and 27. And we are going to lose in the conference finals to the New Jersey Nets as they would go on and win the NBA title. Elton Brand is your finals MVP averaging 24 and 11. Brandon Roy is going to go first overall to the Milwaukee Bucks. Bargnani has gone to the Celtics. Lamarcus Aldridge to the Jazz. JJ Redick has gone to the Knicks. Jack is now down to a 95 overall. 34 years old. Two years left on his deal. Gilbert Arenas is going to win the MVP. The Rookie of the Year is going to go to Bargnani and the DPOY to Tyson Chandler. As Shaq again makes the first team averaging 26 and 11 a game. And again, the Magic are going to miss the playoffs this time being the 13 seed going 31 and 51. This team really is not that good. I'm kind of disappointed that Shaq is going to rot out the rest of his career on the Magic. The Minnesota Timberwolves are going to go on and win the NBA title. Daniel Carl is going to win the Finals MVP, averaging 23 a game. Kevin Durant is going to go first overall to the Jazz. Mike Conley is gone to the Spurs. Greg Oden to the Magic, so hopefully he doesn't bust and actually can be a good player for us. Shaq is now fallen all the way down to a 92 overall. 35 years old, one year left on his deal. LeBron is going to go ahead and win his very first MVP. The Rookie of the Year will go to KD and the DPOI all also to LeBron. Shaq again will make the first team, this time only averaging 23 and 10 a game. And the Magic, I mean, they're probably the worst team in the entire league, only going 24 and 58. The 15 seed in the East, obviously missing the playoffs. As the Denver Nuggets go on and win the NBA title, Jason Richardson is your finals MVP, damn near averaging 30 a game in the finals. Manu Bowl and Sean Kemp have both retired. Manu Bowl played 23 years in the NBA. I mean, god damn, this dude averaged like two points for a career, yet he played 23 seasons, 36 years old more like 50 i really don't understand how he played so long without him retiring early i've never seen a player play this long kevin love is going to go first overall to the phoenix suns russ has gone to the warriors d rose to the magic so we did pick up a point guard that we needed Although I don't know how many years Shaq has left. Brooke Lopez has gone to the Knicks. Shaq now pretty much is washed. I mean, he's only an 89 overall. 36 years old, so I doubt he has too many more years in him. 16 years in the NBA is not bad at all. And of course, we did pick up D. Rose, who's an 81 overall as a rookie. LeBron again is going to win the MVP. The rookie of the year is going to go to D. Rose and the DPOI again back to LeBron. Shaq is actually not going to make any of the all-NBA teams for the first time in a long time, as he would only end up averaging 19 and 8 a game. Meanwhile, the Magic, again, were not very good. The 13 seed going 31 and 51. As the Nuggets, again, win the NBA title. Jason Richardson, again, your finals MVP, this time averaging 30 a game. Penny Hardaway has decided to call it a career. Only after 16 years in the NBA, he really never amounted to anything. Blake Griffin is going to go first to the Wizards. Steph Curry has gone to the Kings. Ricky Rubio to the Thunder. James Harden to the Clippers. DeMar DeFrozen to the Magic, which is a good pickup for us. Again, I don't think it's going to matter, though. Shaq is pretty goddamn old. He is now fallen to an 87 overall. 37 years old, almost damn near 40. D-Rose is now up to an 84. Nene is on her team. He's an 81. Greg Oden really hasn't grown much since he's got here. D-Wade is going to win his very first MVP. The Rookie of the Year will go to Steph and the DPOY again to LeBron. He would end up averaging only 15 and 7 a game. He's definitely washed at this point point as the magic would sneak into the playoffs as the 8 seed going 35 and 47 goddamn the east was tough this season not a lot of good teams as we were not even close to 500 and made the playoffs and of course we got absolutely smacked in the first round by the pistons as the bucks go on and win the nba title art mcleod is your finals mvp john wall is going to go first overall to the celtics boogie cousins gone to the bobcats paul george has gone to the Cavs. Shaq now isn't even the best player on the team as he's an 83 overall 38 years old d Rose is up to an 88, still very young. Yet again, LeBron is going to take home the MVP. Also the DPOY, the Rookie of the Year, will go to John Wall. Jack is going to end up averaging 14, 7, and 2 a game. By far the worst stats of his career. As the Magic are going to miss the playoffs, identical record as last season, going 35 and 47, but now we are the 9 seed. As the Houston Rockets go on and win the NBA title, Chauncey Billups is your finals MVP, averaging 28 and 11 per game. Kyrie is going to go first overall to the Timberwolves. Kawhi is going to the Clippers, Clay Thompson to the Hornets. Shaq now is down all the way at an 80 overall. One year left on his deal. 
hopefully going to be his last season in the NBA. I mean, he's damn near 40. Jason Richardson is going to win the MVP, the rookie of the year to this guy. And the DPY again, going back to LeBron for like five years in a row at this point. Shaq at age 40 years old is going to average 13, 6, and 2 a game for a really bad Orlando Magic squad who did grab the 9 seed going 36 and 46. And again, the Denver Nuggets going to win the NBA title. Spencer Willis is your finals MVP. As finally, after 20 years, Shaq has decided to call it a career. 40 years old, played all 20 years with the Orlando Magic, and he was very good for a very long time, obviously washed at the end of his career. He averaged 27, 11, and two for his career. He's gonna finish as a three-time NBA champion, six-time MVP, three-time finals MVP. He's a 16-time All-Star, six defensive player of the year awards, maybe the greatest player of all time. I mean, only three rings is kind of tough. He would end up finishing as the all-time NBA leading scorer with 41,000 points, eclipsing Michael Jordan, who passed Kareem at the beginning of the video. For three-pointers, let's see how many three-pointers he had here. Shaq is going to finish with 2,600 three-pointers. He also has the most made free throws in NBA history. The second most 50-point games at 35 and the second most 40-point games at 189. And that is going to do it for Shaq's NBA career if he had Steph Curry's shooting ability. Obviously a very good career, shot a lot better. Overall, he did win less rings, but more MVPs, more DPOYs as well. He also finished with more points than anybody in NBA history. So you let me know in the comments below, do you think he's the GOAT? If not, tell me why. I would like to say thank you all for watching and until next time don't be silly wrap your willy